When pre-processing in Python, you need a location that's secure to store the data that's been pre-processed. What we're going to do is we're creating a MySQL database and table structure in order to store our pre-processed data. So we're writing a script. So we'll begin create database. Now we need to think what happens if this database has already been created. We don't want to generate an error. So create database if not exists and we're naming this predicted outputs. So we've created the database and now we need to tell SQL to use predicted output. Okay, now we're creating a table. So first thing we do, as we just said, if the table already exists, we need to drop it. So drop table if exists. And uh, the convention is if to have the table name be the same as the database name. There's only one table, so predicted outputs. And <clears throat> now we're creating the table. So we're going to begin with uh, four different categories of reasons um, for our analysis. So and uh, this is going to be a bit not no. I'll just copy that second part to save time. <clears throat> um, our next value is our variables that month value it's an integer so month value int <clears throat> and then we have uh, the transportation expense is also an int integer not null And then age, integer, so we'll copy this again. Body mass index. Integer not null. Education bit not null children did not null 
that's the same. And then probability, probability is going to be a decimal number. So it's float, not null. And then uh, prediction, prediction is going to be a bit, not null. And then we're closing that <coughs> with a semicolon. So to um, actually create the database and the table, we click the lightning bolt button. And if you notice, we have the two green check marks down here. And we will um, go to predicted outputs table. This is actually the database. And we're going to do a refresh of the database. Refresh. And then the table, predicted outputs, and we'll view. And there we have the structure of the table. <clears throat> and then uh, we can communicate with this table through Python. So that's excellent. Thanks for listening. This was great. Thank you.